any questions that that may have come up that you feel may warrant an answer or an answer's not available or anything at all, anybody? Maybe just an observation, Terry. Yeah, is, sure. You know, obviously I'm still completely frustrated with not being able to do anything because there's no, there's no I here to do anything. Yeah. And I've... I've kind of used the word noticing a lot, which is helping because instead of seeking and I've always, you know, for most of most of the time been seeking and trying to find and obviously talking to you and, and, and consolidating that there is nothing other than this, right? What's going on here? And um, there's nowhere to go and nothing to find. It's more noticing that I'm not doing the walking when I'm walking and, and so noticing kind of seems to, to, to keep me, keep me from, from seeking and getting yeah. out of that trying to do. And it's, 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 I guess, more passive and more resting into just what's going on. So, yeah, that was, that's kind of my observation. Yeah, that's good. Um, it takes um, a reasonable amount of, of surrender, of, of letting go, of being the seeker, to then just kind of acknowledge to yourself, okay, I'm just going to pay, play a, a passive role here and I'm just going to notice. I'm just going to observe. And, I'm, you know, from my own direct experience, I'm going to try and observe whether or not what all these non-dual teachers are saying is true or not for yourself. Yeah. Um, now, which is really, really interesting because, you know, what, what you acknowledged was, you know, there's no me here and I can't do anything and, and so on and so forth. Yet, who's now just, who's now playing the passive role of noticing? Yeah. And, and um, um, now that's got to be noticed. Yeah. And that, that sense or idea of a me that's now going, okay, I, I kind of give up. I'm just going to notice. Now that one needs to be seen. <laughs> okay. And, and what you'll find, Shirley, is that they get um, uh, each discovery. It's like the, 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 the me is uh, closer, closer, closer. And you sort of get to a point where, I don't know if I can do it with the camera or not, get to the point where it's so close <laughs> that you like yeah, you're overlooking it the whole time. The whole time, what you're trying to find is right here. Oh, <laughs> but it's so close. Literally, we keep overlooking it. Yeah. Now, the way to notice that that is so close is to acknowledge. Okay, I know there's nothing I can do about it. So now I'm just going to notice. Now you've, got to, now you've got to have a look at who or what is it that's now made a decision to notice. What's that? Yeah. So you're just constantly peeling it back, peel it back. But as you're peeling it back, you know, that that, that, you've, that um, you've missed or that, that we've missed the whole time, you discover it's close, 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 close. It's so close. It's so close. Now it's spotting that. Who's that? Who or what is it that's noticing? Is it a me that's now noticing? From what you've learned so far, Shirley, you know, is it possible that it could be a me noticing? Oh, no, when you put it like that, there is there is no need to notice. Yeah. yeah. So, so you can so you what what starts to happen, Shirley, is you can you, you can start to catch your own dialogue. Mm -hmm. The, the mm -hmm. dialogue that goes on here, you know, rather than me bringing it up, you you start to you literally start to catch it yourself. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, it got so subtle. I, I just kind of lost sight of that. But yes, 100%. It, I, it yeah. was still a me. Yeah. 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 And then you go, okay, cool. Ah, all right. Now, who's aware of that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See yeah. what? Yeah. But it's not infinite. There comes a point where it does stop. Yeah. Otherwise, you'd be trapped on this infinite regression loop. And that's not, not, that's not what happens as you draw uh, closer and closer and closer and closer to the non-dual experience, yeah, the less likely it is for that dualistic character to rear its head again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It rears less and less and less. And then you eventually get to a point where it will rear yeah, and you'll giggle at it, you'll laugh at it, and there it is. <laughs> then, then, yeah, mm, that's interesting. Who or what's giggling at it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, yeah. just, yeah. just keep drawing it closer, 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 closer. Eventually, what happens is uh, internally it just goes quiet. There won't even be you know, any dialogue going on internally that's saying, oh, gee, that's interesting. There's not even any dialogue going on anymore. Mm -hmm. That won't Mm -hmm. won't even happen. Mm -hmm. It just, it it kind of reaches a point, surely, where where things just become more and more and more quiet and quiet. And and look, (laughs) what does that mean? It just means there's less and less thoughts happening. That's all. Mm -hmm. The, the, The only... Um, in the absence of all thoughts, there's no seeker. There's nobody lost. There's not a human being that's a female or a human being that's a male. In the absence of all communication or inner dialogue, everything just stops. Now what am I? But that won't arise that final where you would expect a question to arise won't arise. All that happens is stillness gets experienced, still and peace and and no internal noise. In other words, just no thoughts, still, completely still. And there's seeing, hearing, tasting, touching, smelling, perceiving, happening. Imagine just... (laughs) <laughs> being able to look around and there not being any judging. They're not be they're not uh, uh, no longer uh, the mind is no longer labeling things because that's all it does. And then, then what it does, it takes the label to be the thing. It's insane how this is like it's Quite bizarre how this is. It's brilliant, but it's quite bizarre how this is, the whole thing is set up. <laughs> yeah. Like if you walked into a shop and bought a shirt and walked out of the shop with the label, you'd be pretty pissed off, I think. <laughs> I want to walk out with the shirt, not the, not the label. But the, the, um, all the mind knows, if you like, not that it even knows it, but... All there is in, in, in reference to the mind is nothing but words, concepts, and labels. What's a chair without the word chair? Now what is it? You'll experience stillness when you ask that question, just even if it's for a moment. When you ask questions like that, everything just goes, even if it's for a microsecond, everything goes quiet, just still and quiet. What's a tree without the word tree? (laughs) Is it a tree now? Without the word tree, can it now be a tree? (laughs) What is it without the label? We we do the same with uh, um, me. Me, good old me. Remove that label, M-E, Now, what am I? You'll experience stillness. 
when you're genuinely asking that question for yourself, there'll be a, a moment of stillness. And then notice the mind then step in to try and resolve that conundrum. <laughs> it does. Oh, well, I don't know. It might not be a tree, but clearly it's wood. <laughs> it may stay, yeah. But if you, if you remove... Let's try this. Let's just try this, yeah. Your experience of I, this is for everybody, yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm speaking to Shirley, but your, your experience with I, Shirley, and your experience with me, are they the same? I mean, I use them interchangeably and, and as this body and yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Now, the mind just said that then. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's go to the direct experience and check out whether, whether or not mind is right or wrong. Fair enough? Mm -hmm. All right. Can we acknowledge that you're me? <laughs> Isn't it funny? When we, it's like a pet. Yep, you're me. <laughs> <laughs> but it's got to be put that way. So, <laughs> yeah, the painkillers are starting to kick in. I'm having a good time here. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, can we acknowledge that what we take our me to be is our memory, is all the experiences that we've had, all the things that we've done throughout our life and so on and so forth and kind of round all that off and we bring that into the present and say, and that's me. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. And we can also acknowledge that uh, it's the me that experiences things like low self-esteem. Mm -hmm. It's the me that can experience things like cockiness or arrogance. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's the me that is the one that um, can be uh, sometimes extraordinarily judgmental, even though the me not have the courage to, to say it internally. Mm -hmm. yeah, being very, very judgmental about either others around you or, or even about yourself. It can be judged, you can be judging yourself. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. the, the um, operator. Can you think of any, anything else? I mean, there's the stacks, but can you just think of anything else? that uh, uh, identifies to you, me is in action, what else does it do? Well, it takes ownership of everything, of doing, of moving, of, yeah. Yep, good, good, good. All right. Now, let's just for a moment, we're going to park that just off to the right, okay? We pretty much know what that is. Yeah, that's the thing we're trying to get rid of. <laughs> that's the thing we're trying to run away from. That's the thing we haven't been able to accept our whole life. That's the thing that we've considered broken and needs fixing mm -hmm. pretty much, right? So we'll just park that off to the right. Okay. Now let's come back to your uh, immediate direct experience right now of I. Is that like the me? Go here. Come, come right to here, Shirley. Your direct experience now with I. Is it the same as the me? Like you were saying, there's a, that, that bit of silence when I say I, and then it goes, yeah, and that's me, and and then it, but there's a there's that tiny little stillness before before yeah it gets hijacked i guess like you say well, 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 do you experience that stillness before before we start inquiring about what the me is or, or when we met, when when we mention the word me off we go and we just launch into like it's just there's no stillness it's just, yeah well it's me and i'm yeah. here and i'm stuck and i'm i'm this and i'm that and i've been doing this for blah oh blah 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 blah, blah. <laughs> so the me yes yeah, more directly dives into all of the blah 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 Good, no, good. When you did I, there was a bit of a gap. Good, good. So fall into the I right now. Just I. 
what's going on with the eye. We know what the me does. We know all the backstory. That, you know, and we just come, come down to just I. Listen to it. I. Listen to the difference. Yeah, you ready? Me. <laughs> <laughs> I had to do that. <laughs> the me, the me is the whiner, the whinger. That's not fair, and that's the me. Yeah. Good. Now, yeah. now, now. Uh, once again, just come back to the immediacy of now, mm-hmm. and I. Is it the same? No, it doesn't. It doesn't attach to anything. It doesn't. Yeah, no. Yeah. Now. And where we live is in the me. Mm -hmm. And what's accessible is the I. We haven't even looked. See, that's why I quizzed you at the beginning. You know. You know, is the experience of the I and the me the same? And because we've never looked, we've never really even found that pause or that slight difference. We've never gone there. We would ordinarily say, yeah, yeah, they're, they're the same. Mm. And then you discover from your direct experience, from the experience of experiencing I, to the experience of experiencing me, Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's or, or, or yeah. me. There's a, there's a difference. Yeah, there is. Yeah, yeah. Now, how many of you are there? Just I. <laughs> is the I the me? Look, even if you've got a sense into it, surely. I would say the me is contained in the I. Uh, it, arises be, in, it arises in the I. Would it, would it be fair to say that the I is prior to the me? Yes. Good. What are you doing knocking around with the me? What are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah, I've never looked at it. Yeah, we don't. Yeah. Like, you know, if your best friend, <laughs> please don't take this the wrong way, because I could say this about anybody, right? If your, <laughs> best, if your best friend was your me, you wouldn't hang around with them. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Right? Yeah. You just, you know, it's like I can remember there was a time where <laughs> if, if I experienced um, a woman um, paying any attention to me or noticing me or being a, a slight bit flirtatious, let's say. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I used to run from them as quickly as I could because I used to think, if you like this, you must be fucked. <laughs> well. That's the internal. I'm just sharing the internal. Yeah. Yeah. That's what was going on. I'm, I'm not embarrassed to say it these days, but that was just the internal story that was was going on. There must be something really fucking wrong with you if you think you can like this. So can you imagine what what this was? Sure. Sure. Awful, awful. Yeah. I mean, that's all. Thank God, change. But so, I and me, I and me. I is still mm-hmm. what you discover. What you discover, surely, is the I is not split. Mm-hmm. The me is nothing but fragmented bits and pieces. Mm-hmm. It's fragmented. The me I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. And that's why it keeps changing. You know, one minute you're feeling okay, the next minute you're not, you know. 
somebody looks at you sideways and, oh, God, you've collapsed, you know. Oh, they don't like me. Like, it just, it's all over the shop. <laughs> mm-hmm. You wake up one morning feeling great. You wake up the next morning, you're depressed. What's going on? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's just the nature of it. That's the nature of it. Yeah. Now, do you experience the I as an object? Sit closely with this one. No, because I can't I can't pinpoint any policies. I can't I can't. Good. Yeah. Good. Good, good. Now let's go to the me. Do you experience the me as being an object? Yes, because it's this body, it's it's yeah, <laughs> yeah, lots of lots of attachments to me, yeah. Okay, so So you've got the I that's here, and you've got the me that's here. Mm-hmm. Guess what the me's trying to do? Well, it wants to run the show. It wants to think it's, yeah. Kind of, but yeah. What the me's trying to do is it wants to experience the I. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Now, the irony of that is, from your own direct experience, the I's already here. Mm-hmm. You just never noticed it. Mm-hmm. You've never been able to distinguish between the two, Shirley. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Now you are. Now you are. Maybe for the first time. But and now that you are, let's just kind of hang around here in the mm-hmm. eye for a moment. What's that like? Yeah, just it's it's quiet. It's it's peaceful. It's still. Does, does, yeah, it's does, just present. Yeah, does it um, feel empty, void, nothing? Have a close look no. at that. No. No, because it's not like it's 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 not like it's. It doesn't feel like there's any deficiency. Right, because there's not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is your direct experience now. Yes, it's so weird because I never experienced not that there's two, but that, that there was a yeah, I thought I and me were kind of interchangeable. But that's not. Why, and that's why we get stuck. Right. That's the very that's the very reason. We get stuck on this path. Yeah. It, it's the the, the, um, the I is taken to be the me. And the me is not satisfied with the experience of the I. Why? Because it can't experience it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, can you see that? Yeah, yeah. Literally can't experience it. So then it starts calling the I things like void, empty, barren, nothing, kind of bland, kind of. That's that's the, the, a typical answer or response you would expect to get from a me that can't experience that can't experience anything. Whereas the I, <laughs> the eye's full, full. Lacks nothing, wants for nothing. Is it peace, still, calm? And at the base of it, it's just the pure love to be. And that, when you finally stumble on this, you you kind of have to stumble on it. When you finally stumble on this, something miraculous happens. (laughs) The eye reveals itself more and more and more and more and more and more and more. It's self-revealing. It doesn't need to be found. Mm -hmm. I mean, in one sense, at at best, 
you might say, all it actually needs is it just needs to be acknowledged. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I see you. Oh, oh. It, the whole, you're slammed in the immediacy. All of a sudden, you're now for the probably the first time in your life here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where we've been trying to get. Well, where the me's been trying to get, where the me's been trying to arrive. How can a label arrive anywhere? Yeah. How can a concept arrive anywhere? How can a concept feel anything, know anything, experience anything? A concept. A concept. If we, move, if, if we remove all those words, every word that makes up a person's backstory, the personal person disappears. This is so simple. We miss it time and time and time again <laughs> until eventually, you know, hearing the same thing over and over and over, all of a sudden, it's because it seeps in. Oh. But you've got to come down to that, you, you, you know, what's your direct experience? What's your actual experience? I don't want to know what you think. Mm -hmm. You don't want to know what you think anymore. Mm -mm. <laughs> we, we end up so over it, Yeah. <laughs> All is resolved in that stillness. Go on. Sorry, go on. No, I can, I can just hear the, the me kind of going on and on about other stuff that's not even happening about what right here, what we're doing, like, the rest of yeah. the day. But, you know, just it just... It... It's relentless. It's yeah. relentless. Now, what is it that fuels it? Att attention. I think, yeah. yeah. You can say what fuels it is attention on thoughts mm -hmm. or what you could also say is the misattention of I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That... Yeah. So what, what I'm trying to get you to do this evening is acknowledge the I. Mm -hmm. It's the mm -hmm. only thing that's real. Yeah. And the whole shit show, the whole game, the whole everything, it's the only thing that's real. It, it feels more powerful to refocus on the eye or to, to kind of go back to the eye than to remind myself not to pay attention to the me thoughts. Good. Because now I'm still that's, now that's, focusing on the me thoughts by not giving them attention. Yeah. Yes. yeah. And now, been, yeah. now it's time to change it up. Yeah. Yeah. You're dead right. Yeah. And we do that for as long as we need to do that. And then all of a sudden, oh, you find you're not doing that anymore. Mm -hmm. You're not having to constantly remind yourself, oh, you can't be the me and you're not and you're not. Oh, and you're... All of a sudden that becomes redundant. You don't need to do that anymore. Why? Something else presents itself. Something else presents itself. You don't find it. Yeah. Yeah. And then I see everything. Okay, now, what's your actual direct experience? And you go there. That's different. This is different. This is different. Yeah. Now, right there at that point, love this. every ounce of love that you can possibly muster. Mm -hmm. Love this. Affectionately aware. Bob used to call it that. Okay. Just be affectionately aware of the I. All right. I know you're there. 
I know you're there. And I'm here and I'm just affectionately aware, acknowledgement of, because it is real. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, what the fuck are we doing here? Sure. Yeah. It's real, yeah. So now you fall into love. Yay. <laughs> this is the good part. It's your true nature to love. You know, people. Maybe you'll understand this. Yeah. When when people ask me. What's my direct experience of life now? I know that whatever I say is going to be a concept. So I already know that off the bat, yeah. But the closest I've been able to come up with, which puts a smile on my face and I go, that'll do nicely. And it's and it's simply this. I'm in love with being in love with love. It's not dependent on anyone. It's not dependent on a thing. It's not dependent on other. Doesn't need. It's whole. It's whole. (laughs) And it's love. Some people will call it awareness. Yep, it's that too. It's awareness, it's consciousness, it's beingness, it's love, it's bliss, it's this, it's that, that. See, the mind has to, uh, the, the, the way the mind tries to deal with it is it tries to give it attributes. Mm. That's all it can do. Whereas all it actually is, is one. Watch the mind try and scrabble to understand that, even now. See, What would something, what would you call something that was uh, love, consciousness, awareness, beingness, all at the one time we want to to come up with one word that represents those things? What do you want to call it? Wouldn't matter what you called it, as long as it meant one. Mm So this and this, you, you'll find why people are, are reluctant to, or even can't, give it a word that implies one. Advaita, you know, you know, how they try and deal with it is they say it's one without a second. So, so, that, so it's one without the idea of even there possibly being two. That's not even there as an option. One, one. Play there. Play here. Love. <laughs> you, get, you get tired of the mind anyway, and that's happening. It was really, really easy to flip you around tonight. Easy. Mm-hmm. Now keep yourself flipped. Yeah. Yeah? Don't forget. Mm-hmm. Don't forget. The content in the mind and what it's doing and what the mind does. <laughs> Who cares? Seriously. Yeah, yeah, totally, yeah. yeah. You, you had enough of that yet? Yeah, yeah. More yeah. than enough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Know Thank you. Well. Pleasure. Yeah. The answer's not in there. It's in here. And I shouldn't even I shouldn't even do that, but I know you know what I mean when I touch my heart. Yeah. I don't mean literally it resides in that part of my body. Yeah. It's in love. <laughs> And I'd never experienced love until I did. 
my experience of love was all conceptual and all 100% conditional. There's not too many people that will admit to that because everyone, everyone wants to think that they're, 100% loving and unconditional, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm loving, I'm fair. I'm, I come from unconditional love. Bullshit. <laughs> That's so easy to refute, so easy. Yeah. Whereas this that I'm referring to is unconditional, which means everything goes. What I mean by that is all is okay. It's not that's okay and that's not. It's all okay. You watch a moral, moralistic, uh, um, ethical, dualistic mind deal with that. It hates it. It hates it. That's not right. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> you just think it's not right. <laughs> yeah. Direct. That's for everybody. It's direct. You have to have had a damn good look, like you said, Shirley. You know, you have to have had a damn good look at the mind and how it functions and the, the mechanics of it, and the fact that that, that duality only arises as a, as a concept in mind. Duality, which immediately means so too does time. It's an absolute concept. Maths themselves are a concept. You'll never find ever two plus two is four. You'll never find it because you'd have to tell me what two is first. What's two? See if you can. What's two mean? In and of itself, two or three, if you like. What is it? The words, the words themselves don't mean anything because if you said two in another language, it wouldn't, it wouldn't do any, it wouldn't mean anything. Sure, let's not make it that hard. Let's assume that it is in the language we understand. You're right, dead right. Mm -hmm. but let's let's not make it that hard. What's three? Yeah, they're, they're, I mean, they all need a lot of describing to 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 explain them, and I guess describe yeah, yeah. make all concepts. Good. How do you describe three? Well, you, know, you have to create. You have, well, you have to create division. So you have to say there isn't. There's more than one. Yeah, but you, but you're one, not, no, no. But you're not. No, no. It's closer than that, Shirley. It's closer than that. My question is, it's closer than that. Tell me what three is, not what three objects are or three divisions. Three itself. See? See, it's closer. Mm -hmm. Like we did with the me earlier. What the hell is three? It's a concept. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, and, it's a word. That's it, also shift to yeah. It's, and it's and it's okay, providing it's absolutely recognised as a concept. You can have three all day long if you like. That's fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. What's what's you know, when you start looking at this, 
duality because we're all trying to find non-duality. <laughs> well, you better know what duality is if you're looking for non-duality, yeah, reasonable starting place. Better work out what duality is first because I'm claiming that that's where I live, that there's space, there's time, here and a there and an up and a down and a this and a that, and a me and a you, and that's the world of duality. Well, I better be damn sure that that's true first before I go looking for non-duality, which seems really radical, non-dual, not two. That's out there. It sounds like a challenge, <laughs> you know, and then a lot of these teachers seem to be pretty bloody happy and they're walking around with a smile on their face and they're happy. I want some of that. <laughs> Time is a concept. Is an absolute concept. Physicists, scientists have been screaming that from the top of their lungs for years. It's not new. It's the layman that's still walking around believing that time is a thing. It's a concept. So to our numbers, they're a concept. Which also means words <laughs> are concepts. Word, you know, words that that we use to, to, to describe a me. If words are a concept, what do you think it's the me is going to be by the time we get to the me? <laughs> That's like really concept now. Right? <laughs> and it's just taken to be real. It's taken to be true. Fact-finding mission. This is a truthful fact-finding mission. That's what this is. If you want anything other than the truth, this isn't it. If it's truth that you're seeking, this is it. If you don't want the truth, you know, if you want to pretend you're something else, the non-dual part's not for a person like that. I'm not suggesting that anybody here isn't, you know, shouldn't be here. I'm not, but you don't even have, you don't even have a choice about being here. <laughs> yeah. No choice which is great, relax, like really. The, one, the only thing that I would say to you, Shirley, right now is relax into the eye. Acknowledge it. See there is a difference. Yeah. And there is. The eye is the being. And the being is not split. Whereas the me is nothing but split, the meing. <laughs> yeah, what do you want to do? You want to be the being or the, you want to be the meing? Ooh, it's a, such an easy pick. It's such an easy pick. Yeah. You just have to have had enough of the meing and spotting it. Oh, that's the me again. Oh, yeah, there's those thoughts again. Good. We have to go through that. It's not a mistake. We have to go through that. But at some point, Cheryl, it's like, okay, you know, now what? Oh, what's this I? I've been looking at the me. What's the I? <laughs> you discover there is a difference. Yeah. That was an interesting little rant. I had no idea that was going to come up. <laughs> the mere fact that you're here, you're drawn here, there's an element of trust. Yeah, there's a, there's a, 
a resonance that's happening for you here. That's why you're here. That's why you're turning up here. Something is resonating. Okay. If you can acknowledge that, then what you need to do is to put what you're hearing Terry say to the test and find out for yourself. I will never say, believe me. Yeah, now then we'd be on the way of setting up a church. <laughs> you don't have to worry about it. Children, you don't have to worry about it. I'll take the burden and the responsibility of that. You just believe me. <laughs> Fuck. There's people out there still doing that to this day now. But it's all unconditional, so there's a place for that. Did you get that? The significance of that, yeah. yeah it's free. Everything's free. 